so this map is different from the real map. It's obviously Lake Boulder. Um, Texas. I do want to cast out here at the dock. I set the time for morning. And light clouds. And I packed up some spinners to try and see if we can get some pike. Some big bass. I don't know. It's been a minute since I've played much of anything but the DLC, so it'll be interesting. Sometimes it could take a minute to get the trophy fish to come out. boat flies so there's a bunch of big fish right here I'm pretty sure there's a trophy pike near the area too right at the boat launch that I haven't caught yet I've hooked into it but I've never caught it so I might actually try that with these lures you gotta like let it sink for a second I think you gotta set your uh, reel in a little slower Oh, there's a big pike. I see the silhouette. See it? Alright, so I'm on the right track. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to a bluegill, uh... Bluegill spinner bait stick with that formula I was using because I think they're chasing it it's just not this one's a buzz bait so it might get a better response See, I knew it. I knew I'd get a good response from that. I was just going to fake it out for a second. I knew it was going to try and bite it. I don't know if that's a bass or a pike. Because uh, with the weather set to early morning, it gives a lot of glare on the... Uh, like in real life, you get a lot of glare on the water. Even though my guy has like pro glasses here. Gonna fight a little bit. I think it's a catfish or something. Kind of looks like uh, the way it keeps digging down there. But it's a catfish, but gosh, this lake in Texas, or this lake is in Texas, I think. And I'll tell you what, on this fishing game, it is gorgeous. I do have a uh, South American rig. Uh, 30 pound test line on my stuff right now, so. <laughs> I shouldn't have any problem getting it in. It's just the fights on some of these uh, pikes and musky and. Especially in the morning, per se. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a pike. It's so cool. That's like the first fish, man. If I land, well, I better not say anything. I'll jinx it. First fish of the day ends up being a pike. Or of the night, I should say. I'm playing this late at night. So the only time I do get like the <laughs> the need or want to play this is like right before summer hits late at night. I get so bored that. 
Try faking me out, bruh. Didn't realize I had such good line ready for you. so quiet here I'm concentrating on I know they could be a pain in the butt and just change their mind at the last second you're reeling them in I don't know if in the game I just don't have the strongest of reels and stuff yet but Man, it's just really playing with me right now. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Oh my gosh. Man. Oh, shoot. A Northern Pike trophy catch. 28 pounds, 42 inches, man. And that's just streaming right off the bat. And, uh, yeah. Take a picture of that for... Xbox. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Really cool. Alright. And on that note, um, yeah, I feel like I should leave it there. <laughs> Retire stream for the day. But no, um, I'll keep going for a little bit here. Let's see what else we can, uh, Tally up here. It's just kind of intense and sometimes I just don't want to, I don't want to leave people sitting in silence and listen to the ambiance of me playing this game. I'll cast right into the, uh, thinking about getting something out that, ooh, there's big fish underneath me. Uh, something that dies as opposed to something that. You just reel in like this. Whoa! I'm glad I uh, didn't stop streaming because <laughs> that's an exciting bite. Fish on, right? Fish on. The bass are fun in this game. It, I mean, it extenuates the jumping and the. I don't know, man. It's a simple kind of Sega style play, but. Ooh, 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 ooh. At the same time, like, I gotta watch my drag. If the bass hasn't even fought yet, you can get tangled up in the motor, he can jump. I do I do have some of the best holes and stuff though. Oh, that was simple. <laughs> so what do we got here? Uh hogger bass. A six pound twenty one inch large mouth. I'll take it. Nice. Alright, sticking with the theme here, staying at the dock. Actually, hold up. Let me, uh, s change it to the pulsator spinner spinnerbait. Let's see if I can, uh, maybe lure a giant catfish out of the weeds. Ooh, that was a good one, too.
pretty sure this one's a constant reel in. Although, if you walk it, like, stop, go, stop, go. It's like those little things, uh, reflex baits with the spinny thingy on the end of it. I think I could show you what it looks like here in a second. Alright, yeah, um, let's switch it up. Try a couple swim baits. Um, this Fishalicious is like a... Uh, how do I show you the tackle? Okay, so that's what it looks like. It's just like a worm. These are my swim baits. And these are my poles. And the reels. Alright. So I'm gonna use that little, uh... Basket and worm thing. Let it sink a little bit. Ooh, I t went to Twitch and something just bit right into it, man. And it's got fight in it. Holy crap. It's just starting to fight. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. The heck. <laughs> what is this? It's going crazy. I just set my drag super loose. Is it a bass? I think it is. A small mouth. Fighting real hard in the morning. Anytime I've went small mouth fishing early in the morning, it's been a pain in the butt. It's got to be a small mouth, probably, right? No? Yeah. Small mouth. Trophy catch. Nice. Another trophy catch. That is cool. That is just sweet, man. Okay. Onward and upward. Uh, let's try the gold swim bait. I'm going to aim towards the rocks this time. 95%, I'll take it. This one will let it sink. I know with the swim baits, you want to turn the uh, speed down so that it's kind of like on the ground. Although. Weird. I don't know. Swim baits are different. Okay, so there is lily pads right there. Let me try uh, the frog. How about that? Try the frog. Okay, it's right into them suckers. It says stop and go slow, but it's kind of hard to do when you're using the triggers, the both triggers of your controller and um, operating the sticks at the same dang time. It's like, how are you going to do that? Alright, so no, not much luck on the frog. I think I saw something chasing it, but, uh, you know, let's see what it does. Whoops. So, I'm going to go with the baby bass lure. I was going to say, what happened to my map? I think all the fish have left. <laughs> go with the baby bass lure real quick. And uh, usually this one kills it. Because it's like bass wanting to eat other bass and...
It seems something chasing it. Hmm. Just all part of my imagination, huh? Looks like I need to relocate somewhere else in the lake here. I wonder if I use this spoon, the light being like this, it'll probably attract a big fish. Yeah. I think this is a spoon. Nope, it's a diving bait. You know what, it just might be what I need. Is that all you do is like, that's like too slow for me, man. Hey, some bit of diving crankbait. Doesn't look like uh, something we've caught already either. So hopefully I uh, don't screw it up here. Must be a trout. I think in, in this spot of Texas is like... There's a bunch of rainbow trout too you can catch at a certain time. Come on. It's gonna switch on me. Maybe it's a big fish and I'm just like... But I did have a polar strike so it's probably gonna give me a bunch of trouble. Ugh. Ugh. Try and take it easy. Got it. Heck yeah. So I guess it was a uh, rainbow trout. Nice. Nine pounds, 20 inches. Heck yeah. All right, I'm gonna cha change spots. Getting to some uh, deeper water action here. Maybe, uh, maybe in the other side of the lake. Over by these rocks. Yeah. I'm on to something over here. Oh yeah, I forgot I had that diving lure on. If you're new at the game, the diving lure is probably the better one to use because, like, you could win some good competitions just by, like, you get you get more chances because as it turns green, you have another chance to, that a fish will bite it. The fish I saw were this way, though.
trying to bring all up the uh, trophy size fish. If there is one, should see it. Chase the lure. They come out within the first layer cast. You'll, you'll usually see it by default. Oh, there's something down there. Looks like a big hog or bass. So, I mean, I got an idea. Switch over to the spinners. Bust out another bluegill spinner. I was doing so good with the bass and predator fish over there with it. Try it over here. You can see something down there. Aim straight for the boulders this time. I think I passed the big fish. That's the crappy part. I screwed up and should have just cut the video footage when I uh, was doing good. But then you don't get to see all these other species that I catch. Bite it. See, that's the thing when you're in a competition, you'll get like two or three curiosity chases. And you still gotta just keep, like in real life, throwing it out there. Trying and trying again. Eventually they'll take it. Maybe it's not what he wants. Nah, those got super too much line on them. I think that's the biggest problem. I'll tell you what though. This spoon, watch this. Ben Parker Magnum spoon. Shattered glass magnum or something like that. This thing. This is a different story. If you don't catch something out here. Wow, that was a big fish jumping next to me. Trying the other way. I heard fish jumping. We could actually turn the trolling motor on. So activate the right stick. I think hold A. There we go. We're trolling. This is actually a good way to uh, figure out the lake too if you troll around near the middle by like over by that island. You'll run into some fish. Some good sized ones.
I think I'm about to run amok here. Oh, I was about to run over a big fish. Slow down. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, it's like way up she raises way up she raises way up she raises her life no morning put him in the brig until he's sober I don't know I'm not very good with the trolling motor I guess Cause we ran a muck. All right, there's a big fish right there. But check this out. Whoa! Whoops. I've been doing this all wrong, folks. I use something that's not as heavy a uh, pound test so they can't see the line so easily. Let's see if that helps. This is one of the lures that you gotta Sean. If anybody's interested, uh, it's not a sponsor or anything, but like the game is real Sims fishing. Um, or Sims real fishing. 17 inch smallmouth. Nice. It was on the Game Pass for quite a while on Xbox, and then they took it off and I had already bought like a the Esequitos uh, DLC for it so I could fish in the Amazon Brazil you know Something's on it. Yeah, 
You know, this is a good lure and all, but let's try a crappie. A crappie. A swim bait crappie. It's a big, beautiful boulder there. Oh, now look at all the freaking fish. Wow, yep. Yep, I bet you there's a bunch of big fish when you use swim baits over here, too. But it seems like this is a little trout. <laughs> it's reeling in rather easy. Uh, a little tension. Uh, a little bastards. Giving me tension over here. Oh, I see a big fish there. Oh, this is a large moth bass, a two pounder. It's a quarter pounder, man. Hey, that's blue. Another big fish, another big fish swimming by. Come on, no whammies. Got it on too high of a setting. Yeah, this is. It, I can almost fall asleep playing this. <laughs> it's so quiet, and then the in the headphones and the turtle beaches all you hear is like the water. It's like you're just sitting on a boat, sloshing back and forth. Not a care in the world. See that tail? That means that that big trophy fish was interested in what I was, what I'm doing here, but it's being picky about the bite. So, I've seen it and it was a pike, so. I'm gonna keep trying. Should bust out my pike rig. Probably be easier to catch it too. Is that it? Is that the pike? <laughs> 